Hey guys, it's David. Welcome to the channel. Today we're talking about Tesla. Oh, and by the way, I do need to quickly shout out the two newest channel members. Thank you guys so much for joining the channel. We have Kendall X at the tier two level and JH at the tier one level. Thank you guys both so much for helping me to continue doing what I do with this channel. So we have massive rounds of layoffs, we have key executives departing, we have Elon Musk seemingly focused on Twitter and SpaceX and DEI issues and everything except for Tesla, Elon's pay package got voided, it's lots of drama, then on the business side we have falling margins, Tesla having to cut car prices due to demand slowdown, the entire EV industry and auto industry having a lot of trouble right now due to high interest rates. Why would you possibly want to continue to hold this company? Well, the answer is that Elon, who is the boy who cried wolf when it comes to FSD. We think people do not need to touch the wheel, look out of the window sometime, probably around, I don't know, second quarter of next year. We expect to be feature complete in self-driving this year. And when I say feature complete, I mean it'll work in downtown San Francisco and downtown Manhattan this year. I was called a fraud and a liar, and it was not going to happen. This is all untrue. Uh, and we expect to have the first operating robo-taxis next year. I feel very confident predicting uh, autonomous robo-taxis for Tesla next year. Mark my words. Is crying wolf once again, but... This time, is it different? Let's take a quick look at some user reactions and then talk about what this could mean for the company. I gotta say, I'm just like really impressed. Like it's, I was not expecting it to be this good because it's a really like, this is not a small change. Yeah. To the, but the, the degree of polish on this was yeah. in a much higher than I expected. What have I got? I'm, I must be at like 50 hours in the seat with yeah. it right now a few thousand miles, highly varied stuff. Yeah, it's super solid. When I drove it, I was shocked um, because this is not like, uh, it's, it, I think V12 is a little bit of a misnomer because this is a drastic, you know, rewrite of their whole planning architecture approach. That was good. <laughs> so far I'm impressed, honestly. I have not had to take over a single time. All right, so turning. There's oncoming traffic right here. So far, so good. Look at that. Look at that, that's pretty nice right there. Ooh. Wow, and it's gonna park us here. I was going to, that's, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> what the heck, this is crazy. <laughs> All right, so we're coming, I, I'm gonna, I'm trying to like, this is cool. And I'm not like, some FSD enthusiast. So right now the car is just driving by itself? It sure is. I just got my hands closed to uh, intervene just, if I need to. Case to yep. intervene, yeah. Now, when it comes to Tesla robo-taxi valuation models, uh, I figured there's no point in trying to reinvent the wheel. There's several valuations out there in terms of how much revenue and value to shareholders people think that the robo-taxi network could drive. So I figured to just take a quick look at a few of them that are freely available, starting off with ARK Invest. You all know them. Some people love them, some people think they have lost credibility, but anyway. So pulling up some pie charts here, ARK Invest is stating that they expect, I believe this is by 2028, the Tesla RoboTaxi network will drive 44% of Tesla's overall revenue numbers, but that will come out to 64% of their EBITDA as the margins are so high on this FSD network and 67% of the total enterprise value for Tesla, which they're estimating to be $6.1 trillion, which is needless to say, absolutely massive, much bigger than they are today and much bigger indeed than any company is today. So based on all these numbers and some various calculations, you're welcome to dig into. ARC does share their data on GitHub as well as their blog. They have a expected base case value of $2,000 per share in 2027, bear case of $1,400 per share, and bull case of $2,500 per share. Uh, a lot of this value being driven by the expected robo-taxi network. 
Now, I do know a lot of people aren't as big fans of ARC as they used to be, and they've kind of fallen out of favor. Uh, I'm not going to say this network's perfect, but even if they're in, they don't even have to be in the right ballpark. Even if they're in the right state in terms of, you know, the numbers they're talking about here, that's obviously pretty solid growth for Tesla at their current share price. There's a few other models out there we can take a look at. This one posted by Change Discussion. According to their quick valuation model, they think that fleet revenue for 2 million robo-taxis would add $90 billion of additional profit at a PE of 20. The valuation increase would be $1.8 trillion, which as you all know, is much more than Tesla's currently valued at today. And there's already more than 2 million Teslas on the road and they are building 2 million Teslas a year. So the numbers get even crazier as you talk about more and more self-driving vehicles on the roads. Now, another quote here from Ch Clean Technica. Obviously, the dates are off and I don't deny FSD has taken way longer than originally predicted. And indeed, Elon is often very late on some of his endeavors. Using their mildly optimistic assumptions based on the model that they do share on their website, and you're welcome to check it out, they believe that Tesla could achieve a robo-taxi network fleet of 2.75 million vehicles by 2026, which would generate revenue of just over $92 billion and profits of $31 billion. That is not too shabby at all. That would drive a massive increase in the bottom line for the company. Now, I do think 2026 is probably a bit aggressive. This model was released a little while ago, probably safer to push those numbers out to 2028, but adding $31 billion of profit, not of revenue, but profit would definitely really help Tesla's valuation. In terms of a more bearish scenario, I think even if the RoboTaxi network does not materialize anytime soon, we can still look forward to an increased take rate on Tesla's FSD subscription for people who own their Tesla vehicle. Tesla did recently decrease the price from $200 per month to $100 per month. And simultaneously, the FSD program is vastly improving very quickly. So that combination should be attractive to drivers. So I did a ton of math and all was filming a video going through all the numbers and what I thought it could add to the bottom line. It just got a little too number heavy and complicated trying to share all my numbers and keep track of everything. So what I will say is that doing some basic rough calculations, it does seem to me like if they can hit even a 10% take rate on FSD, looking at about 5 million vehicles on the road, about 400,000 of those already having FSD means there's probably something like 460,000 they can sell to currently, plus they're building out an additional 2 million vehicles per year means they have a opportunity to sell FSD to those customers as well, looking at something like $620 million per year of recurring revenue. And believe me, Wall Street does love that recurring revenue that can be relied upon to come back every year. It's why the likes of Microsoft has done so well with their office subscription model and various SaaS companies. I know 620 million may not sound like massive amounts of money, but when that flows to the bottom line and as opposed to the top line, because it's mostly pure profit, it does actually make a pretty sizable difference to the valuation. But if you want to talk even more bullish, maybe FSD gets like almost perfect, gets really amazing, everyone wants it. Let's say 50% of Tesla owners decide that it's worth subscribing for FSD. Now we're talking something like $2.7 billion in annual revenue, and that's only a couple years out. The fleet keeps growing larger and larger, especially when they do introduce that lower cost car. This is not even taking that into account. We're now talking about a lot of additional revenue flowing to that bottom line. And sure, there may be some incremental costs to say their FSD team, maybe more storage, more compute and all that kind of stuff. But really, they're already doing a lot of that stuff in training their models. So a a lot of this revenue would flow to the bottom line. And this to me is the 
what I would say base case scenario. And I do think robo taxis will come eventually. Again, may take longer than most people think than certainly Elon has thought in the past. But I do have to say it's quite encouraging how quickly FSD has started to improve. So what do you think? Am I crazy? Am I hanging on to a sinking ship and going down with the ship here? Tesla's been dropping for what feels like several years. It's been extremely painful to hold this whole time, but I do still think they are furthest ahead on FSD. This will be an absolute game changer for all of our society as a whole, as well as Tesla's financials. It just maybe Elon will be able to pull another rabbit out of a hat as he's already taken Tesla uh, from market caps, you know, like 30 billion to 1 trillion and back down again, but still massive growth. Maybe he isn't done yet. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm sure Tesla is a pretty hot topic and <laughs> um, there'll be lots of comments either way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you found it informative, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. Thank you so much as well to the two new channel members who just joined. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.